Hey guys, Levi for The Rag Company, and today I wanted to talk about what's the difference between a compound, a polish, and an all-in-one? And when would you use each one, and why? Well, very simple. We'll start with the compound. Now, most compounds are not always pad-dependent. They need to be used with cutting pads in conjunction uh, with that compound to achieve the necessary cut. It's the most heaviest abrasion. Think of like a very aggressive sandpaper. However, something like the last cut can be pad dependent, meaning you can use it as a compound and you can use it as a polish with the appropriate pads. So that's one of the benefits of this product. Now, a polish is literally that. It's going to polish the surface. It's almost a refining step. Now, it's gonna fix any of the imperfections that the normal compound left during that compounding step. Again, think of a heavy grit sandpaper. If you've ever sanded something, if you go too deep and it's too rough, you need to get a finer grit to smooth it out, soften it out. That's basically what we're doing with a polish and a polishing pad. Now, one of the benefits of the Rag Company, again, is I like things that can do a lot of different stuff. So when I set out to look for different products and Anthony helping me figure out which ones we wanted to work with, we like things that can do kind of double duty. So again, this polish, even though it's very fine, very gentle, very easy to use, you can also make it pad dependent. So if you wanna use a more aggressive pad to get just a little more cut, you can do that with this product. So both these products are pad dependent, but you could use this as a compound and then come back with this and a polishing pad and get a really, really amazing gloss finish. Now, this is an all-in-one, and this is quite possibly the most technologically advanced all-in-one there is. Uh, the Uno Protect provides a lot of great benefits. Again, pad dependent, just like the other products we carry here at the Rag Company. So you can use a super aggressive pad with this product and really either go quick, fast, make some fast money with it, give your customers maybe a 50 to 60% increase in their gloss and shine to what the stock finish of the paint is, or you could actively try and use two pads with this or cycle the product for a lot longer and still get an amazing shine. And it's super great because again, pad dependent. If your car's not that heavily scratched, you just wanna brighten the paintwork up while providing protection. That's something these two don't have. But this provides a polymer sealant to, to the surface so you can actually get protection while you're polishing. Once it sits, you wipe it off and there you are, clean, shiny, and protected by a polymer sealant, eliminating a couple extra steps. So one of the great things about that all-in-one is the ability to do all the jobs, therefore all-in-one. So cut, polish, and uh, provide a gloss. Now, it's not as abrasive as this product with a cutting pad. It's not as abrasive as this product with a cutting pad, but this provides a ton of versatility for any customer, whether you're mobile, whether you're in a shop, whether you are just a weekend warrior and you're wanting to give your vehicles a nice sheen as well as protect them, an all-in-one works wonderfully. Now, I've never been a big fan of all-in-ones. Growing up, detailing cars, I've been doing this 23 years. This is the first product that has actually won me over. Uh, I've always been a tried and true compound polish and then add protection. But here, with this one, you can do it all and it's great. So hopefully that answered your questions on what's the difference between a compound, a polish, and an all-in-one. Well, hopefully you found this FAQ helpful and make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And for more videos, stay tuned right here at the Rag Company FAQ channel. Thanks for watching.